On Good Friday in 1963, 53 blacks led by Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. marched into downtown Birmingham to protest the existing segregation law. All were arrested. The authorities picked up Martin Luther King Jr. in Birmingham, Alabama. King does not feel that they have broken the law. He states laws are made to protect the people, not degrade and punish. Martin Luther King Jr. was told he was being arrested for demonstrating without a permit. As far as King is concerned, the African American will continue to do whatever is necessary nonviolently to obtain the legal and moral right that is theirs. Martin showed no shame in his photo at all. He had no problem going down for his race at all and wasn't going to stop until he got what he wanted. Sitting in jail, Martin Luther King Jr. served a total of seven days thinking about what his plan was going to be next. The March on Washington Street caused the eight clergymen of this southern town to compose a letter appealing to the black population to stop their demonstrations. This letter appeared in the Birmingham Newsletter. The Birmingham Newsletter written by the clergyman caused Martin Luther King Jr. to write a letter in response. He explained that his quest was to force the white politicians to negotiate and actually heed the request for desegregation. King explains, past promises have been broken by the politicians and merchants of Birmingham, and now is the time to fulfill the natural right of all people to be treated equal. Martin is talking to the media about the newsletter, how he felt about the newsletter, and what he wanted to change. Martin Luther King Jr. had a meeting with President Kennedy about the rights of African Americans and desegregation. On August 28, 1963, after meeting with President Kennedy, Martin came up with his famous I Have a Dream speech and said it at the Lincoln Memorial in front of 250,000 people.